and then the car went airborne, like right in here, and it's, it smashed into these cars, and that's where it was a domino effect all the way down. Now at nine, thousands of dollars in damage after the driver of a stolen SUV comes barreling into a Milwaukee car lot. And that is where we begin tonight at 9. A high-speed chase ends with a crash at 76th and Villard after a stolen Jeep goes airborne. This is crazy. It smashed several cars in an auto lot. The wild pursuit all captured on camera. Fox 6's Ashley Sears is live at the scene with more on this incredible surveillance. Yeah, Ben, that Jeep flipped through the air and onto these cars here at Hart Auto. The cars are smashed and there is damage everywhere. It happened so fast. You almost have to see it to believe it. And it was just in a matter of a second, everything was flying everywhere. A Jeep comes barreling through 76 and Villa, ignoring the speeding squads behind it, hitting a red car, then a fire hydrant, taking flight in the parking lot of Hart Auto. It went airborne. It flipped over several times. It turned over. Christine Gaspardo was working inside when the vehicle crashed. The former EMT ran out to help. I saw the gal laying on the ground, so I started to assist her with uh, one of the police officers. Milwaukee police say the pursuit began at 60th and Capitol. The driver of the stolen Jeep and two passengers sped through the streets, documenting it all on Facebook. Everything was live while they were driving around in my truck. Pamela Watkins followed along, finding her stolen Jeep destroyed. The Lyft driver was carjacked just one day prior after picking up a teen. And when I turned back to look at the young man, he pulled out the gun and pointed at me and he said, ma'am, you got to get out your car. As she processes it all, Larry Rowell looks at his own damage. Broken windshields, smashed in windshield, uh, the roof is damaged on top. Eight cars were destroyed. Rao in disbelief. It smashed into these cars, and that's where it was a domino effect all the way down. An unforgettable day, leaving its mark in more ways than one. And it's very sad that kids think that this is okay. MPD tells us a gun was recovered and a 17 year old arrested. That teen was taken to the hospital along with two passengers and two drivers of other vehicles that were hit. Charges are expected in the coming days. Reporting live at 76 in Villard, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. That is certainly video you have to see to believe. Ash, thanks.